Hello and welcome to a little bit of a talk about the yacht. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I recently had a chance to purchase a yacht. Lovely gold car. Just dent it slightly. Never mind. Why are you wearing At so least much the light's still aircraft at the moment. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? The Vestra. Great. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. The Vestra is in there. I must admit, I am going to do a full review of this car. This is the fully upgraded version. playing GTA for a while, so... talk to you about the yacht that I recently bought. And this video is going to be about the top five things that I think they can improve with the yacht. Firstly is they have this horrible problem of it not really being worth anything, if you see what I mean. That's not my problem. That's not my yacht. I must admit, I do like the best one. Even though, it, I was thinking this would be a stunt sort of on the jet fighter, it sort of is, because it's sort of... Here we go. Here's my yacht. That's good, that's about the bounty placed on me. This is me in my Michael Weston clothing, so I'm just gonna swim to my yacht. There we go. There she is. The Star Destroyer Chimmy. Supposed to be Chimera, but I couldn't fit it all in, so I thought Chimmy will do. And I've gone for the dark colour scheme. I think that's better. I really do. I think that suits the yacht better. But there are a lot of problems with the yacht. And I'm going to describe to you in the next few minutes what I think they can improve. Now 
Number one. Put something here. I know it's where you put the nameplate, but I think you should be able to open it and be able to put something in it. Say more things like a, a chef, which is something I also think that you could do on this uh, yacht. The yacht needs a chef. Now a chef, what would a chef do? A chef would give you cheap, cheaper meals. Now meals are things like you can carry around and just cheaper snacks that are useful in the yacht for during gameplay. Because you have access in the yacht to a rocket launcher and a homing rocket launcher. You can only actually only pick up two of those, which is I think that's wrong. I think you should be able to pick up as many as until you're full. I think you've owned the yacht. You can keep picking that up. You've got a proximity grenade, which I rarely ever use, but when I'm on the yacht, I'll use it. And also you have access to a heavy sniper rifle, which is good. A heavy machine gun, basically the combat LMG. And my favourite, one of my favourite weapons in the game, the special carbine, which is very, very good. I have no problem with any of this. I really don't. But, I think the game could use something on its lowest deck. Once it has something on its lowest deck, it will be worth buying. This, I don't think it's worth buying. If you're thinking about buying it, don't. I came into a bit of money, so I thought I would. I want something here. I really do, other than the nameplate. I want something where you can go in and there's probably a... Well, what I think would be good would be a tattoo artist and a haircut emporium. That's what I'd have on my yacht and also a chef to give you cheaper meals. Sort of every so often, every day or so, you can pick up like five snacks. This make that would make the yacht more worthwhile to people who paid eight million dollars for it. Well actually we can see how much I paid. I paid modify your yacht. And so we're only five hundred, but I went for the Pisces version, which the Ryan. Now, I think, I think the, uh, I went for the Aquarius, which is the top of the line. Uh, I didn't go for chrome fittings. I thought chrome fittings were a little too... I uh, didn't go for gold fittings. Gold fittings are a little too much. I don't like the gold fittings on the yacht. The chrome fittings are just right. I went for the blue... Blue lighting. I think it suits. I went for the command deck and paint job which I think I quite like and the name and the flag but I think okay you get the craft that's okay I like that. I like that you get the craft in with the more expensive yacht but I think you should get something that is a proper advantage the yacht doesn't give you enough advantage and also, they've missed an absolute trick with the yacht, which I think, I can't understand why they missed this trick. You look at the yacht and go, right, this will be a damn good place to have a party. You think, yeah, you've got a bar, which I like, you've got a bar, you've got seating. There's one thing that you can't do. You can't.
Call the stripper. Want more? Invite to your apartment, not your yacht. What the fuck, Rockstar? Come on! You tell your pi your p captain to pick up your stripper. Jesus! And let's get it right. This is a criminal organization you're running. You've got to do it correctly, Rockstar. You have to. Okay, I'll check with you later. God, that voice. That is just... That sounds like a dude. <laughs> Sorry, but it does. Um... You've got... you got the place where you can sit down, and it's like, dude, why can't you bring a stripper to your yacht? You can bring her to your high-class apartment. Yeah, fine. But why not to your yacht? This also makes very little sense. I would, instead of a first aid tray, have canapes. Now once you have canapes, anybody who eats the canapes gets full health. If you see what I mean. If you don't want to have the, um, have the chef have canapes being served. Or, even better, it's up here. Where are the bar nuts? Hello, you're, sir. You're at a high... I know it's a high-class yacht, but where are the bar nuts? Where are the pretzels? As I'm British, where's the, um... Pork scratchings? Come on, guys. you got a, a shit ton of beer and a shit ton of wine, whiskey... Yeah, I can't... I can't fault you on that, guys. I really can't. But... Also, why can't we have a cocktail? A vodka martini or something? Something... What's that? Hang on. Where? Oh, we can have some wine, which is... Nice, I suppose, but... Mm, the yacht is a little more... Should be a little more... Refined than what you can have in your apartment. Now. Merci. Merci, madame. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I just thought of something else. Why don't you have her... Hello. ...as a stripper? You can basically go... go into a party mode, where it basically costs you X much, and you um some people say americans have no style or taste or class but i say no not all of them i'm british my dear british not american <laughs> learn that see you soon see you soon have a piece of fruit or something it's it's i know you can get the weapons from your yacht which is nice, I suppose. But I want canapes. Um, also, let's as we're passing a piece of art, let's talk about art. This goes for the apartments as well. I have in my Snapomatic. Now, how do I access the Snapomatic? Well, I've taken photos on my Snapomatic. Hang on, let me see where to access them. Good job. Hmm. Snapmatic. And I think that you should be able to basically take your snaps from your Snapomatic, basically your camera. So I'm going to take a uh, selfie pic here. Uh, take off the 
grid. Oh, no, I didn't need to do that. And yeah. And depth of field. And I think go. Take the photo. Right. You take the photo and you go save to gallery. Now where the fuck actually wait a minute, isn't the gallery in hang on. Gallery in Where the gallery is. But you should be able to basically go, right, well, that was a nice pick. I want that pick there instead of that piece of art. It's something that is not particularly that difficult to do, I don't think. And you should be able to give every single person's yacht and every single person's ten luxury apartment their own feel, their own je ne sais quoi. Now, there are other things that I think they could do with the yacht, which would make it a lot more fun and interesting. They have given you weapons, that's fine, that's great, I have no trouble with that. But I th think they should just... Some of the yacht settings are slightly puzzling to me, personally. Oh yes, and by the way, I do have it. So the soon we're going, we're going to do I like the jacuzzi. Especially when I don't kick it, but I like the jacuzzi. Ah, here's one thing. Can we not have the red cups? Can we sort of go champagne flutes? It's just a little thing, but come on, guys. You own a yacht. You don't drink out of a red cup. You're not a student. You have a motherfucker. Well, let's put it this way. You're on a boat, motherfucker. You're on a boat. And it, it's not something you drink out of a red cup in, is it? You have that ability in here. in the um, airplane that, in the chopper that comes with the yacht, the exclusive chopper. I think I'll drink some champagne. I like the champagne. Champagne is, is a nice touch. So, I feel that doing that sort of thing in the yacht and having canapes and such would be good. I must admit, I do like that in this particular chopper you can browse the internet while somebody else flies for you. And another thing. Who was that? I'm being fired at the rascals. Alright. Hang on, wait a minute. That's not the heavy sniper rifle. That's the heavy sniper rifle. Wow. I cannot see shit. But, they can't seem to hit me for toffee, but let's get back to where I was going, going with this. You, let me head to somewhere where it's a little more quiet, shall I? And go into the yacht services. Now, the yacht services are quite interesting. I must admit, I enjoy this. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't enjoy this? Turning the yacht defences on, that's quite a nice little thing, but... The yacht is now protected from aerial attacks. Yes. I don't know 
why, as the owner of the yacht, you're unable to access your weapons room, but when you access the captain to the captain of the yacht. Brendan Darcy, your captain. Ah. You, one of the things that annoys me is that he doesn't, there is no pilot to come and pick you up. It's just, it's just very, very poor. They, there are so many things you can do with the yacht, but I think they've missed out on. Head to say over here, shall we? I I must admit, they should have a chopper pilot for you. Because you own a yacht, you should own a chopper pilot. You own a mechanic and a captain, but you should own a, a chauffeur so that you can arrive at your yacht in style from anywhere on the map. So you basically go, I want to go to my yacht and basically have the chopper pilot up here and allow you to sit in the back. Like so. Allow you to sit in the back and drink champagne and do, do it just so. This is, this is quite poor. Someone is taking the piss. Who is it? I think I've got a problem because I think I changed a setting. you. Could be. Blow up my plane. Yes, I think it is. No, no. No. But you, you see where I'm coming from, but it gets so much better. Let me let me describe to you one of the problems with the yacht. Let me just call the captain back. Because, well... The, the aircraft has been blown up. Brendan here, captain of the ship. Right, let's go. I'll Let's get a chopper call. dispatched right away. Now, here's the problem. I am here... The chopper is... Way the fuck over here. What the hell, Rockstar? I asked my captain to bring me a chopper for a thousand pounds and the pilot decided, no, I'll land it in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's worse when you are in the middle of the city. Because you have to head towards the goddamn uh, coast. Well, I'm sorry, you own a chopper which has a helicopter which can be delivered. It should be delivered to you, to a suitable landing place. But there should be a risk if you somebody sees you deliver it delivered to you, they could blow it up. 
And this is the trick that I think Rockstar is missing. I, I really do. I think they are being really, really stupid with this idea. But I think they should give the normal player more reason to actually own a chopper, own a yacht. Because, frankly, at the moment, I'd say it's the worst purchase you can ever make in Grand Theft Auto Online. And I'm not kidding. How far is this bloody chopper? Sorry, you own an eight million dollar yacht, which comes free with her helicopter support, and you have to run in your nice suit to go and get it. For shame, Rockstar! For shame! You should have an onboard pilot on the yacht who can take you from anywhere in Los Santos or San Andreas, or anywhere in the GTA 5 map, to get you to your yacht. Your yacht is your place of... It's your place of solitude. Or it's somewhere where you're going to have fun with your friends. You can't call a stripper on the yacht. There's no treats on the yacht, as in no canapes on the yacht. You cannot get your... Your aircraft sent directly next to you, onto your yacht. It gets sent to these random locations that appear to be miles away from you. And you have to pilot yourself onto your yacht, not being able to drink champagne while you do so. It's very, very poor show. Very poor show. I think they should improve the yacht. It is a luxury expense, yes, but... I must admit, defending a yacht can be quite fun, but if that's all you're going to get for it, not luxury, you don't feel like you own a luxury item, you feel like you own another property that you can't store any goddamn cars in. It's... It's... It's the little touches, Rockstar, but I think you need to improve. So, I know this is one top five or something. I know I've been rambling, but... Let's get it right, Rockstar. Let's get it right. You... For the players who own yachts, you've got to own the... You own the yacht, and so... You should own... The experience of it. You should feel like you are having an experience being on it. Not being able to get drunk like in a frat party and have a few weapons around like you're um a high class redneck let's get it correct rockstar please so thank you for watching my little rant on the yacht goodbye